स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू बायोलॉजी क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एनिमल किंगडम कैन बी स्प्लिट अप इनटू टू मेन ग्रुप्स वर्टिब्रेट्स एंड इनवर्टिब्रेट्स एनिमल्स विद बैक बोन्स आर कॉल्ड वर्टिब्रेट्स वाइल एनिमल्स विदाउट बैक बोन्स आर कॉल्ड इनवर्टिब्रेट्स फाइलम वर्टिब्रेट कैन बी फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इंटू फाइव क्लासेस Pisces, amphibians, reptiles, apes, and mammals. We have already discussed Pisces, amphibians, and reptiles. Today we will start with apes. Class apes consists of birds. Let us first discuss basic characteristics of apes. The main features of apes are as follows. their body is covered with feathers they have a streamlined body and wings which help in flying they are warm blooded animals warm blooded animals means that they always maintain the same body temperature irrespective of the outside temperature the bones are hollow and light in weight this helps them to keep their body light they have scales only on legs and claws on the toes the jaws are modified into beaks they lay eggs with hard shells some examples of apes are sparrow duck peacock pigeon hen birds are oviparous animals which means they are born from eggs They walk with two legs. And they have two wings that allow them to fly. Although there are some birds like the ostrich and penguin that don't fly even though they have wings. The bird skeleton is light because their bones are hollow. Birds can breathe thanks to their lungs. and they are warm blooded they eat with their beak that has no teeth Ugh. their body is covered in feathers class mammalia class mammalia consists of mammals let us discuss the basic characteristics of mammals So the main features of mammalia are as follows. The body is covered with hair or fur. They are warm-blooded animals. That is, they always maintain the same body temperature irrespective of the outside temperature. They possess projecting external ears. They breathe through their lungs. They give birth to young ones. These animals feed their young ones with milk as they have mammary glands. They usually have four limbs and some of them have a tail too. Some example of mammals are deer, cow, lion, elephant, whale. Mammals are viviparous animals, meaning they are born from their mother's womb. Mothers have mammary glands that give milk to feed their young. Inside their mouths they have teeth to chew their food. Mammals breathe through their lungs. They are warm-blooded animals. And the majority of them have hair covering their bodies. They can live on land. in the water and some can even fly so students to recap vertebrates are animals which have backbone vertebrates are further divided into five classes class pisces class amphibia class reptilia class aves and class mammalia thank you and stay safe